Wanted to start. Yeah. This week on Lucky Fish, Tiki 38 builders Janine and Adrian arrive. Zaya bakes up a sensation. Oh wow! Look at this. We just rescue the drone. Thank goodness, it was just sitting there hovering. Our engine dies, but Zaya uses a trick to find the fault. And if we had to pick only one. Would this be it? I mean, a big bit, there's some rocks coming up, but... <laughs> I'm sort of saying, ooh! <laughs> well, day three with Janine and Adrian. They joined us in Georgetown when we're just heading north through the Little Farmer's Key we stopped in last night with an outboard problem. We haven't resolved it, looks like it's electrical. So we're plodding on with one engine, but we've got plenty of wind and we're trying to follow the breeze yeah, over the next few days. And we've got a nice southwesterly today and we're tight reaching doing seven and a half knots. Just put the self steering on and uh, life's good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Janine and Adrian had flown in from the UK to spend two weeks with us exploring the exhumers and checking out Lucky Fish. They were nearing completion of their Tiki 38 build and this was an opportunity to finalise the last details. We had squeezed in a snorkel on a small patch of reef in Elizabeth Harbour before spending our first night on anchor stargazing. She's got an app, you know, a bit like Google Star Map. Uh -huh. This is um, called Stargazer. Star Walk. Star Walk. Star. <laughs> Go see. Yeah, yeah, your dress is kind of yeah. like <laughs> universal. <laughs> You look like a uh, supernova, there you go. Oh yeah, that sort of thing, yes. So that's Star Walk, bit of software, and what what star is that we're looking at out there? That is Venus, the lower one. So there's the moon. Yeah. Uranus is right next to it, or Uranus, whichever so you want to moon. call it. There's and the, the bottom one, and the bottom bright star is Venus, and Mercury is actually quite close to it. Uh -huh. So here, there's the moon, and yeah. there's Venus. Cool. And if we had a good enough telescope, we would get Uranus and Mercury. Yeah, that's incredible, that app. I like that one. That's, that's more flashy than Google, that one. We left for Norman's Quay the following day, but the port engine died, so we stopped at Little Farmer's Quay, used their 4G signal, and downloaded the $90 Yamaha service manual. We will return to that later. Doing down? We lost the one yesterday. Yeah, we had all sorts of dramas yesterday. Three things went wrong. I lost my hat. We lost our brand new monofilament line and a good lure to something very large. And the outboard packed up, so <laughs> hoping for better fortune today. But the exciting news is that we just got our sails up about 30 minutes ago and we had three mono hulls about. What would, I, would I be lying if I said four miles ahead? Maybe three miles ahead? Oh, five at least. Five miles five ahead. And we're just about to chase them down. Bang, bang, bang. It'd be nice to, uh, to do a sort of a time lapse and just show the speed at which yeah. we've caught up with them, yeah. but it's been great sailing. We've taken the mono hulls and uh, still rocketing along seven and a half, eight knots in a 14 to 15 knot southwesterly. We've uh, pinched the boat up a little bit higher than the rum line just uh, to account for uh, the wind to veer later this afternoon. It's going to clock round to more to the west uh, and head us a bit. So we're putting a bit in the bank out to the, the west side to account for that so we can lay Norman's Key by 4.30 or so this afternoon, about a 40 mile trip up the inside on the banks. 
really ideal conditions. The wind's going to swing north tomorrow and then we're just going to potter our way back south on the northerly which is going to stay in for about three days or so. So our planning is very much governed by the wind. The point of this exercise is just to use this south wind or west wind while we've got it, get as far north as we can and then work our way back to Georgetown. We kind of think about days on Lucky Fish in terms of energy, whether they're high energy days or not, and then we can make plans around how much water we can produce, uh, whether we have to regulate the amount of power we're using, perhaps consolidate everything into one fridge to save power. The last couple of days we've had what we'd call high energy days. The batteries are completely topped off. We've been doing a lot of sailing. The wind's been strong and the sun's been pretty bright. So we've been able to make lots of water uh, and keep the batteries in a very high state of charge. I just made um, 40 or 50 litres of water this morning and we'll just let the batteries sit now, suck up all this wonderful energy and then we might make some more water late this afternoon. After just 90 minutes of sailing in these conditions, uh, the batteries are completely full again so we could make more water if we wanted. I think one of the real challenges for um, running a boat and trying to do it all on renewable energy is uh, having enough energy in through all the different conditions. And certainly at the moment, we've got an abundance of energy, um, more than we require. But then there are other times when the boat is inadequate. We don't have enough solar power and, you know, it's just, it just depends on the conditions. So the trick on yachts that are dependent on renewables is to get a balance, I think, on the input side. So you can cover all the different uh, weather conditions as well as all the different configurations that the boat goes through, anchoring, passage making, nighttime, daytime, etc. We made Norman's Quay in the late afternoon and looked forward to snorkelling the plain the next day. The norther was filling in and we weren't ready to head south just yet. Warham friends Casey and Troy on the Tangaroa Tukanu had told us about their favourite spot in the Exumas. It is a bit of a skinny water challenge to get to but we were all up for it. Finally we're going to look at Norman's Quay, the uh, pond in the north end of Norman's Quay. 
Looks very interesting, yeah. Fourth night and Fourth night. Adrian and Janina, um, they've planned this shot. They spend all day thinking about how they're going to shoot this sunset. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, coincidentally, um, they're in the lilos, which is exactly as planned. <laughs> we just enjoyed a few punches. We're right, where are we? Where are we exactly? Norman's Key. Norman's Key. <laughs> Does anyone actually know? Half Moon we, Bay. We've in the most secluded spot. We found okay. the lagoon. Thanks, Casey and Troy, for turning us onto this place. Amazing. Got it all to ourselves. We've been hoisting the phone up in the bag. Goes up the mast, and we can get the 4G signal. <laughs> Hot spot it from the top of the mast. Look at you, that's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, are you what a beautiful risen breast. Yeah. This over here. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Straight out of our little oven. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look out, you. You're oh. <laughs> Everyone wants to have a slice. Absolutely. Yeah. Look at that honey, that's just perfect, cooked to perfection. Look at that, soft and fluffy. Mm-hmm. Brought me a bit of butter. Is it still warm? Yeah. Oh yeah, fantastic. And then your hands should be under your shoulders. And then down. Right up. Turn there. Put your knees off the off the plank. Up. Set. Right. You're going to put your left foot down and lift your right foot up. Make sure it's twisted. Remember to keep breathing deeply. And it should go into your tummy as well. But you just do that. We still hadn't diagnosed the problem with the port engine. It was time to do some yoga of my own. Uh, this is the CDI. We think it's the good one from the starboard engine. It looks like we may have diagnosed the fault. We've put the unit that we think is faulty in the other engine and it which used to run and it didn't run with it. So it but suggests this CD, that, this but this is, Yeah, CDI. and this is the CDI out of the other engine that we're putting into the engine that didn't run. And if this works then I think that's a categoric diagnosis that this is the CDI and the port engine is naff. We tried running the resistance and the um, voltage output tests in the shop manual on all the components and only on the charging coil, the ignition coil and the spark plug caps were we able to get results that they suggested but the pulsar coil and the CDI didn't produce the results that they suggested on either coil, on either CDI, and we knew that they, one of them worked, at least one of them worked. So Zaya so suggested that we start swapping the parts out between the engines until one of them doesn't work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's not a bad idea. And we got to the CDI, 
from the port engine, put it in the starboard engine, and the starboard engine stopped going. So it looks like it's this. Now we're going to put back the, the good one, we're going to put it in the, yes. the engine that's not running. So if yeah, this one. The CDI is good. So if this one runs, then yeah. that's it, isn't it? Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Wanted to start. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's the problem. CDI. Yeah. Who knew you were going to solve it, me? I think you deserve a beer for that one. I do think so. <laughs> Not content with having our problem solved, I decided to create another by flying the drone. The drone stopped listening to the controller and decided to do a Jonathan Livingston seagull and fly off on its own. <laughs> we're just going to lose it one day, are we? Not having any safeties on things. <laughs> Luckily it came back near the boat, descended as though it was going to land in the water and then miraculously went into a hover. Show me the drone. The drone's fine. Thank goodness, it was just sitting there hovering. Yeah. It's amazing, the vision sensing, you know, it just picks up the water and doesn't want to land in the water. Like a 50 centimetre away from the water and just... Yeah, just, yeah, just sat there. I was looking at the dinghy and thinking, can I fit it in underneath? You know? I thought that was what you were trying to do. David said you have to... <laughs> yeah, should have checked it earlier. But he Start hasn't got a thing to measure, has he? Well, we're trying to fit this for a specific purpose, we yeah? We are, yeah. Paintwork protector. Fish, 23rd of March, 2012. Brilliant day, brilliant day. What have we done today? Oh my God, there's a, there's a bird. Uh, I changed my shorts. Um, <laughs> Almost lost wash. your drone. Yeah, had a shave. Have you? Oh, yeah, I didn't bother. Show off. <laughs> Sky. So we are the only one made something Hello. Oh, hello. No, I, 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 no, I don't think that's right. I think that the, 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 the finding out what was wrong with the engine was, that was a pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's going to last us for a week. I've, I've mm. taken the galley apart and measured everything. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. put it back together. <laughs> 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 oh, now your turn. Now <laughs> yeah, let's sing challenge. Yeah. yeah. You'll be all. <laughs> well, I don't think they did anything, did they? Did they play yeah, anything? Or, oh, 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 okay, I can do that. <laughs> I don't see any movement. <laughs> I'm doing the sort of post ABBA era. <laughs> The following morning things were a little more subdued as we prepared to leave the paradise we had found. Our departure was made a little sweeter as it would carry us along the indescribable entrance channel once again.
What's the plan? Well, I just want to go back through there and do it again and again. <laughs> so beautiful. Probably, probably the singular prettiest spot we've seen. That's saying something. We've seen plenty. It's called the moon. No, it's telling me it's Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, one, one Uranus. Of the, one of the same thing. <laughs> well, everyone, we hope you enjoyed this episode. We'd like to give a special thank you to our patrons. It's because of patrons like you that make our productions sustainable, so please, if you haven't already, consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a video and become part of the Lucky Fish story. Feel free to question, comment and give us a like and sub below. Until next time, thank you for watching.